friends, it's Betsy from the blog of flourishingplace.com and in today's video we are talking all about how to update laminate kitchen cabinets. Like I said, my name is Betsy. I have a wonderful husband and two small kids. And this video is kind of part one of our kitchen refresh. I did a video, kind of a pre-video that kind of previewed everything that we were wanting to do to refresh and update our kitchen. And so I will link that video, but this is kind of a video that is part one of us actually doing the project. So in a dream world, I wanted to wait into doing this project. So first off, this is a shot of our kitchen. It is a small kitchen, but serves us very well. All of our appliances are still working great, thankfully. And so we are keeping all of those in place. And the biggest thing that we have started changing is the cabinetry. Neither one of us liked the finish on the cabinets. We didn't really like the cabinets, period. And definitely didn't like the doors on the cabinets. And so we found a video on YouTube of a gal that had redone kitchen cabinets that were the same style as ours and had added trim to make it kind of a shaker front on the cabinet and we loved that idea and we thought it was awesome so I'm gonna link that video below as well because if you want additional inspiration she was just fantastic and she really got us going down this road so we taped off the boxes in the kitchen and then we started priming so we did one coat of primer and three coats of paint and the primer that we used was a Sherwin-Williams. I'll insert a clip of it here. Now there is, and you'll notice if you look at the Flooring Girl post, there's a stronger primer that is recommended. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's kind of in Sherwin-Williams primers. It's the one step above the one that we got. So like I said, one coat of primer and then three coats of paint. Uh, it definitely needed all three coats of paint. Two was looking pretty good and then three was looking great. And we cut in with foam brushes and then we actually rolled the rest and you might be wondering oh why didn't you spray because we do have a paint sprayer uh, we own one and it's great we love it but the reason why we didn't use our paint sprayer is because you have to thin the paint um, with water in order to spray it and apply it and have the um, the spray nozzle not get clogged up and we really just didn't want to thin this paint with water it's wonderful paint it's high quality paint and we wanted the full strength of the paint um, on our cabinets so we kind of said to each other, we'll give it a go with the roll. And if it looks okay rolling it, then we'll just leave it as is. If we don't like exactly how the finish looks with rolling it, then we'll roll two coats and we'll spray the third coat. And so that was kind of our compromise of seeing how we liked the look of it after it had been painted with the roller. And then if we didn't like it, we could spray at the end. But honestly, once we were done painting the boxes, we liked so much how it looked just with the roller that we felt like it didn't need to be sprayed. So after we painted the boxes, then we got to work on the cabinet door. How do you change the look of your cabinet doors? The process with these was removing the cabinet doors, degreasing them, sanding them, and then that's when the fun part starts. My husband measured out the edges of the cabinets and then went ahead and cut trim boards. trim boards that we found at the home improvement store. Um, they're fairly inexpensive. There's a bunch of options that you can choose from. First step was to glue them on with adhesive. to throw in some nails with the nail gun. So pretty straightforward. We loved, as soon as the first one was finished, we got so excited seeing how these cabinet doors look. And 
I am so excited to see how they're going to look when they're painted. We're going to prime and paint them this week. I will get a video done on it as quickly as I can. If you are watching this months or years later after we've done this project, you can look in the description box below. I will link up any further parts of this refresh project. I will link up those videos below so that you can find them if you're watching one video in particular. But for right now, current day. I am really excited to get these cabinet doors painted and to see how it looks with the hardware on it. I think it's going to look really good. So after these boards have been nailed in, then my husband went with wood filler and just filled in all the little nail holes. And then he also did some just minor repairs on um, any cabinet doors that were kind of beat up or where there was some wear and tear that showed that was pretty easy to fix and most of the areas where we had wear and tear were on corners of cabinet doors where the laminate had chipped or whatever and the awesome thing about putting trim boards on there is it covers all that up so you don't even need to repair it you just lay the trim board over the top and you're good to go that the things we're doing are things that are really going to make a difference long term in the value of the house and things that we are really going to be happy about on that note i made a video a little while ago um, all about how to create your dream home and the theme of that video kind of talks about this very thing of how can you make the most of the home where you live right now and so often I feel like we get so fixated on the next house and if only we had this, if only we had that, if only we could replace this, if only we could, you know, have this much more square footage or whatever, then everything would be great. And of course the reality is that you're going to be happiest when you just start digging in where you're at and doing the best you can with what you have. Go and we'll try to share mistakes that we make as well to hopefully save you some headaches. Well, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I make videos on this channel all about decluttering, organizing, and creating beauty in your home on a budget. And I will see you next time. Bye.